Cardinal Health mission is uh, we provide uh, the essential care, uh, tools for essential care. We in the pharmaceutical and medical industry, and we make everything from gloves and gowns to band-aids to medicines. We um, had an existing F5 infrastructure, and we had uh, a good percentage of our VIPs that were uh, SSL offloaded, so we had the ability to have inspection at that point, and um, it was a technology that we were familiar with, and. Uh, other things were still being looked at and investigated and we were able to move forward and, and show value. So all of our edge environments, uh, anything that touches the internet, is coming through and being inspected to whatever degree we can inspect. If it's a web service, we can get a lot deeper and uh, we have deployed 99%. Uh, there's a few VIPs that we can't protect just due to the nature of what they're uh, doing inside the application. But for the most part, we're in a comprehensive policy and we have anything that can be signed off on, signed off on and, and blocked and allow whatever is necessary to make the application function to flow. So it, it's been quite the journey getting there um, and, and learning the different technologies. Moving forward into, we went into WAF first and learned a lot about the malicious nature of the internet, uh, getting to see uh, an IP address that turns alive on the internet starts getting uh, malicious packets within two to three minutes uh, in our space. We, we just see it starting to come. And uh, once we got the WAF deployed and we started uh, blocking the necessary uh, OAuth top tens and everything else that we were finding, uh, we were knocking down probably about 20 to 30% of the traffic, but we were still quite busy. And shortly thereafter, we should have deployed IPI first, but we deployed IPI after that and that knocked down 40% of our traffic, just getting rid of the, the bad actors with the reputation filter. I started with F5 with Jack shortly after he joined F5 at a major insurance company and then transitioned into a different group of representatives uh, at uh, the insurance company and they transitioned me over into Cardinal Health and when those individuals left, I came back to Jack uh, as the solutions engineer. And he's been able to put me in touch with uh, many different individuals that have specialties to solve our problems. The Cardinal Health runs uh, all of the F5 modules in one variant form or another. We have the, the GTM, APM, ASM, and uh, AFM. So we're very actively using the products and that requires a significant skill set. Even here, uh, I've met with several people for the distributed cloud. We'll be going to distributed cloud here this year. Uh, we have uh, a few sites up today, but I'm trying to get a bigger picture on how to lay that out. I think the relationship with the SE and, and my relationship with Jack <clears throat> is an important relationship that they, uh, or Jack specifically, knows um, who to talk to to get the answers in the fastest time frame. I give my best effort to get out there and see if I can solve the problem through the various boards and everything. And inevitably, if I get stuck, I'll ask Jack a question and he'll give me either the person to talk to or uh, the technical documents to read, the knowledge base, Dev Central, wherever he uh, redirects me into getting stuff solved. Well, we have uh, identified a series of applications that need increased uh, protections, uh, things that were behind uh, different types of firewalls and WAFs that were not getting the attention that they required. So we are going to drag those applications into the distributed cloud format. And uh, I'm trying to think to the next level in where we're gonna do on-prem. Uh, we do have uh, two data centers that we have, one in Ecolo and one in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, from there we have a uh, cloud presence in multiple clouds. So uh, distributed cloud makes a lot of sense to go with that product. In uh, my role as the uh, subject matter expert for F5 on the firewall and load balancing run team, edge support, um, as a subject matter expert, I'm called in to troubleshoot the applications and the packet flows and why things aren't working or not working or uh, one of the typicals. It's slow. How do we, well, what do you mean it's slow? How do we measure that? And being able to work with the business, understand the different types of applications that we have, understand what a normal response would look like versus what they're currently investigating, 
uh, and just overall understanding of all the technologies that we have. It's not uncommon to have to troubleshoot into um, DNS problems or uh, application problems that maybe they're listening and not responding or maybe the port is down or it's, it could be a whole litany of things that go wrong and having to figure out where the problem lies. Is it something with a, a firewall rule or a block or a deny? Is it an ASM inspection block or packet being uh, stopped for some reason? Is it getting back to the server? Um, what's your uh, HTTP error codes might be and who should be resolving those? Who's throwing the HTTP error codes? Um, possible TCP resets, getting into the debugs to finding out the cause of those and what's happening and just bringing down some of the most complex technology into something that the standard uh, application developer who works completely outside of my logic and can do things I can't do, but they don't understand the infrastructure and how it gets to that point and kind of bridging that gap and moving forward with that.